Hello friends, please take a screenshot of this image before starting of this activity. In this video, we will use Fuse Boolean operation to finish this part design. If you are not familiar with Boolean operations, kindly request to watch a video on Boolean operations before starting this activity. We have provided the link in the description. Let's start. Select the part design from the drop down list. To create the new document click on this button. In a model window, a document has been created. Create a part under this document. Add a body under this part. Rename this body to body1. Create a new sketch under body1. Select XY plane. Click OK. Turn on grid. Set grid size to 0 0.25. Select polyline tool and follow the steps. Current sketch is having these degrees of freedom. You can see all constraints which are created by keeping auto constraints option on. You can see number of lines. These degrees of freedom need to be constrained. Select dimension tool and provide dimensions as per drawing. You can see the degrees of freedom reduced to 2. Again select dimension tool to constrain remaining 2 degrees of freedom. This sketch is now fully constrained. Close the sketch. Now we need to select a pad tool to extrude the sketch to fill material. Enter value of 0.5 and click OK. Now we will create one more body on this side. Click on body tool to add a new body under active part. Rename this body to body 2. Now create a new sketch under body 2. Check the coordinate system for selecting the orientation of new sketch. Select XZ plane and click OK. Turn on grid and set it to 0 0.25. Select polyline tool and follow the steps. Here you see that on of line is not constrained in vertical direction. These are degrees of freedom. Provide vertical constraint to this line. Observe degrees of freedom. Select dimension tool to reduce the degrees of freedom. And provide dimensions as per drawing.
This sketch is now fully constrained. Close the sketch. Here you can see that the sketch orientation is different than it should be. Select sketch and go to properties window. Go to map mode and click on three dots button to open reference parameters window. Here you can change the orientation of sketch as per your need. Click on flip sides to correct the orientation of this sketch. And click OK. Select a pad tool and enter 0 0.5. Double click on body 1 to make it active. Select both bodies and press on boolean button. Make sure that fuse boolean option is selected and click OK. Here you can see that body 2 is united with body 1 which is target body. Thank you for watching video. Your comments are important to us. Please do not forget to give your comment.